few times. So today we're going to be testing the Eats GT300 versus the 500 versus the 600 or 626. And my stream or my uh, OBS uh, app suddenly started updating during a live stream. That kind of sucks. Why? <laughs> so if you're looking to buy either one of these, links are in the description. Mind you, the Eats GT 626 or 600 is not available everywhere yet. And you might want to get it from their official website. So let's quickly update this. I'm starting to get experience. There we go. Entertainment. No, that's science and technology. And let's see if the stream is still live. We've got the chat going on here. And Let's see. So we're quickly going to talk about, show you the cooling docks, and then we'll test it out. Okay, let's see if we are good to go now. Throw it alive. Software, it seems to be in good order. Nice. Okay. Sorry for the spam, everybody. <laughs> it seems we are live and somehow my phone started updating OBS. And the first time I tried, I forgot to unmute. It's, it's very unclear if it's muted or not. So thank you for telling me. <laughs> so today we're going to be testing the It's GT300 versus the Eats GT500 versus the Eats GT626 or 600. The difference with all these model names is if they have a hub or a light ring. But uh, also the two cheaper models have lower fan speed. So, but we're not gonna test this one. That one, we're gonna test the highest, the most powerful model out there. So good morning. Let's check out the Eats GT. Yeah, Lovo, what's up? Sorry for the spam, guys. It should be good now. That was so weird. I've, I, it's so unclear on your phone. Like, it, the, all the buttons are grayed out. And apparently, when it's green, it's good to go. But uh, only the flip camera thing, if it's... Uh, I don't know. It, it, it's, it's a hot mess. So, the Eats GT... 300, all the detailed specifications can be found down in the description. And uh, when you, you click on the links, there's a lot of details there, but we're just gonna test it out and see how good it is. So they all use the same flip feet model. I do like them when they have a little bit more resistance instead of falling down. This feels a little, little cheap, but they all have the rubber feet. And this is the Eats GT 300, one of the better cooling dogs out there. These three are arguably the best three cooling ducts out there. And my main question for today is actually, how much better is the Eats GT 626 or Eats GT 600 versus the Eats GT 500? Because these things are on sale right now. So this one has got a little hub. Where is the hub? Oh, this side. So, also the feet and a pretty good filter. This has a single, like single layer filter. The Eats GT600 has a multi layer filter. We'll show that in a second. Also, these things are stuck with like stickers. And this, this, this the Eats GT600 seems to be a little bit different. I'll get to that in a second. But I really love this laptop cooler. Let's turn it up just to show you you hear the sound it's pretty pretty darn loud and it displaces a lot of air the GT 6 to 6 is more quiet hello everybody good morning slick Rick Lovo benchmark boy phantom good day good day if you hit that like button you get a little heart <laughs> so this is the each GT 500 I want to spend too much time on this one because it's the 
It's the big hit on the block, and I want to see how good this new one is. So, the it's GT 626 or it's GT 600. And you have a little new display at the front. The foam, the stoppers, and the feet are all the same. The only difference here is that it has a bigger intake, so I would expect uh, more air to get in, to be more efficient. And it also has a two-layer filter. Pretty darn cool. And if you look inside, you can see... Let's see if we can actually turn that on when it's upside down. Also, this, this uses wall power. Uh, let's see, let's turn it on. So it's, it's got, a, it, this is touch. You have to hold it for a second. Oh, you can really feel the air move here. This is a high grade, high grade fan they put in there. All right, let's put it back together. The filter back in. These filters, you might they might look gimmicky, but it's actually pretty efficient because your laptop doesn't suck up dust and it stays in better condition. So, oh, what, one of my lights went out. Hello. Why? So you have the new little display, and that actually shows what the RPM is. So you can go as low as 400. 600 Honestly, the fan sound on this one is better than on the each GT uh, 500 This 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 is way louder I, I Like the sound of this one. It's it's a little bit more muted. So, a lot of mumbo jumbo, we, we want to see the temperatures, so let's go for the temperatures. I'm going to start off with the eats. Now, you know what? I actually just got an idea. Actually, just got an idea. We're going we're gonna to see how much the difference is between playing with your laptop like this on a very simple stand. Or if you should spend your money, your hard-earned money, on buying either one of these powerful cooling docks. So let's just start off like this. Just play some Cyberpunk. There we go. Where is my... This, there it is. RGB equals better cooling, of course. RGB increases the cooling by at least 50%. Everybody knows this. My super secret code. Okay, turn that off. Go away, go away. Go away. Go away, stay. All right, let's start up some cyberpunk. Now we're using the uh, Asus Strix G16. And let's just see how good the cooling actually is when we're playing like this on a simple stand or versus our very powerful and expensive laptop coolers. These simple stands just normally cost like, I don't know, 15 to 20 dollars, something like that. So let's see where you should spend your hard earned money on. I'm gonna, gonna crank up full settings. Like max ray tracing, we want to heat the system up like there's no tomorrow. Okay, 
And while we do that, we're going to use a manual fan curve. So we have locked the fan speed on GPU, CPU and on the system. And just to show you how much weight the laptop coolers actually carry. Because if you use an automatic fan curve, you're going to screw the results. There is no other way of doing a proper cooling dock test than this. Lock your fan speed. I've seen people testing cooling docks. They use auto fan speed, so the laptop just adjusts the speed. Let's say you have a really good cooling dock and it does a lot of the cooling. The fans of the laptop just go down. So you can't really test the efficiency of the cooling dock. No. It's locked to 70% fan speed. Thank you for driving over me. And let's turn on some ray tracing, high settings. There we go. Bang. And give it a second to warm up. Hello, chum. So once again, the laptop is set to a locked fan speed. What did I do? I didn't do anything. Whoops. Okay. So we have put the laptop flat on the desk. Let's see how good it does when we just use a simple laptop stand. So we're around the 60s to 80s. And this generally works magic. It's even better when you use an auto fan curve um, on these stands. But the intake is so much better now. So you'll probably see the temperature drop by quite a bit. I don't know if this is the best idea to use a manual fan curve when using these stands, because these don't have fans. Not the best <laughs> best idea to start reloading in front of your adversary. So yeah, I mean it works. It's not like the big magic, but once again, uh, a um, automatic fan curve works magic with uh, these little stands. But for laptop cooling dock test it's not like the best thing you can do okay um so it automatically went to turbo again hello why let's see how that is so it somehow didn't save it it was already on auto it's very well within the margin Save temperatures. Whoa, bro. Calm down. It's a lot quieter. Okay, so these are the laptop stands. Let's give it a second. What is this? Oh, that won't hurt you. Whoa, what the hell? So temperatures definitely went down. Okay, let's test the Eats GT300. Let me see if I got the cable. Ah, there it is. So this one uses USB 
C or USB cable. So we're going to use the each GT300 here. At the end of the stream, I'll put timestamps up so people can easily switch around. There we go. Let's install it. There we go. Put it in on this side. And let's turn it on. So the latch just went on. Let's put that on max speed. Let's see how much weight it carries. So we're locked again on a stuck fan speed. This is the cheapest one of them. It's around $60. Maybe you can get it a little bit even, even a little bit cheaper. You have a LED, but it's not visual for you guys. You can maybe see it a little bit over here. Do you have need to see them bound? The game heats up, up to its limits. Well, this game should as well. We've got, currently got ray tracing on. So it should be fairly heavy. And as you can see, it does drop the temperatures somewhat. But the, the thing with this laptop is, is that it's already within a um, very safe margin. And the cooling dock is rather quiet while still being effective. So keep an eye out for these two temperatures over here, right? These two temperatures over here, you're, you're going to be wa wanting to watch them. I mean, these are really good temperatures, right? My house temperature is currently 20 degrees inside. And it's doing a pretty good job. Once again, if you use an auto fan curve, the results are going to be even better. Yo, Salemify, what's up? Okay, so around 60, 65, 77, 75, something like that. Okay, so let's test the Eats GT 500. And I have not tested the Eats GT 600 or 626 today. Not at all. So I'm really curious about the results. Okay, let's pause that. Let's throw this one away. So the Eats GT500 is up next, and after that we're going to test the Eats GT, the newest Eats GT626. And I am really looking forward to that. I hope it's good news, so I can tell you it's the new best one. But I have no idea just yet. Okay, let's pump this thing up to the max. Yes, there's two different versions of the Eats GT um, six or four versions actually. Make sure you take a look at the RPM. So it's currently on the max settings, and it's it's audible, definitely audible, but. Let's see how well the temperatures stay. So you can, you can already tell this thing, like this is a live test guys, seriously. You can see this is real. Some people claim this is fake content. This is, this is as real as it gets. 
please put a like up or a thumbs up for real content. I buy this stuff with my own earned money. Actually, I don't make any money thus far of YouTube. I just invest it back in. So, each thumb equals more, more content. I mean, yeah, we're gonna do it here live. I have no idea if it's better or not. It looks really good, but looks are deceiving. It's it's more quiet. That is one hundred percent. But I mean, look at look at like how more efficient this one is compared to the Eats GT um, to the Eats GT uh, three hundred. The five hundred is significantly better, but hell yeah, it is louder. It is definitely louder. But like I just said, this was 65 on the each GT, um, on the each GT uh, 300, and this is this was 60 or 77, 75, and so this is like six degrees better. And it's currently on max. It's loud, but I don't think it's annoying. So if you have overheating laptop, you really might want to consider getting the each GT. 500, but guys, I really want to test the each GT 626 or 600, and I don't really like waiting or stalling content, so let's just go. Let's. Oh, you boy are loud. You are so loud, my man. Put that away. Once again, we're still using the manual fan curves. It's six, it's stuck to 70%. And let's put that in. Install it. We have to turn it on. Yo, guys. So this is significantly more quiet. But I don't know how much more effective it is. So guys, the Eats GT 600 or 626, here it is. Let's get a, a little bit better angle. Live content, no jokes, no marketing stuff. This is just the way it is, okay? So let's see. We have to give it some time for the laptop to heat up. This is incredible thus far. So, you can really see how much weight it carries. Oh my goodness. Holy cow. Solemnify, nice. Let's see if we can meet up. So CPU temperatures are going up a little bit. Let's see if we can get into some combat. Are you guys seeing this? Yo! Hypnotic! My man! Guys, I actually, I actually bought a new house and I'm gonna build a, 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 a... I'm gonna have a garage and I'm gonna build a whole studio in there. Uh, I'm gonna take YouTube very seriously. Hypnotic, thank you so much for the support, my man. We're on the way to 12 months. You are crazy, my man. Thank you so much. Guys, I mean, we can call it what it is, but the each GT626 six, six six or 600 is better than the each GT500. And it's also more quiet. It is also, and it, it is built very similar. Oh, we can actually go up even better. We can. We can turn it up even higher. 
Whoop. Okay, and you guys are just gonna call it for what it is. This thing is, is, is better. I did not expect that. I, I, I thought the outcome was gonna be that these things are gonna be very similar, but the Eats GT500 is inferior to the Eats GT600. Though, that being said, price to performance, they're probably pretty equal because the 500 is cheaper than the um, 600 or 66. If you buy an, either one of these guys, make sure to look at the RPM. You don't need the light ring. Well, okay, we all know RGB increases the cooling, but um, you don't need the, 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 the RGB. You don't need the, 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 the USB hub. What you need is the RPM. That is the most important part when you buy a cooling guard. But this fan is more quiet. Oh my Lord. Look at the temperatures. Okay, let me just show you what I mean, why I do this test with a locked fan curve. Okay, so we're gonna go back to auto fan curve. And immediately, immediately you will see that the results change. Because the laptop is like, okay, well the cooling dock is doing a lot of things now and I don't really need to step up. So temperatures will change. See, temperatures go up. That is not the way you, how you test the cooling duct. You need a locked fan speed. Yeah, the USB hub is handy, but if you only buy it for like uh, cooling and you want to get the most like bang for buck, you, whoops. Yes. You might want to get the, uh, the normal one without the light ring and without the hub just for the cooling. That is a surprising result. I did not expect that. It also got a lot of light. Let's turn the lights off so you can see it better. I like the way how this interface works. So, let's shut the laptop up. Let's make this a little bit more quiet. So you can actually see which mode you are using now down here. There is a mode, a speed, so you can adjust the speed. And I think also how bright you want the LEDs. And it tells you how bright it is. So this is three, that's the max. This is the mode, disco mode. Yeah, if you want to have an epileptic attack, you might want to look at this for a long time. All the colors and the rainbow. We all need rainbow and the speed. So 13 is the max. There's a lot more control on this thing. And if you want to turn it off or turn it back on, hold the power button and it goes either on or off. You show only you show the cooling difference I'm sorry, so the showed in temperature difference. Slimify. I agree with you, my man. I agree with you. So once again I'm gonna keep this video very short. Um the let's conclude the video a little bit. So let's put the laptop away. Bye. Ugh. Guys I'm happy to announce, if your laptop is too hot, you might want to get the Eats GT626. This is, at the very moment, the best laptop cooling dock on the market. By far. That being said, the second best laptop cooling dock is the Eats GT500. It's cheaper. And it's a little bit louder, but it's still a really, really good laptop cooling dock. If you want to buy either of these, links are in the description. Well, like I said, the Eats GT600 is not available everywhere just yet. And our final contender, 
which I honestly would skip. I think you did hit three times already in the video. <laughs> yeah, I had to restart the stream. This is the third attempt. But we have a new kid on the block, so it's new content. The It's GT 300 is a good cooling dock if you're on a budget. But if you have a little bit more money, buy either the 500 or the 600. That was it for the stream for now. Uh, guys, wait. I, I, I literally bought, I think it's the best budget laptop out there on the market. This thing, thing is $750. It's got a RTX 4050 and it's got an i5. $150. And this is the Acer Nitro 5. And I'm going to be testing this. I'm going to be playing two, five games today. And let's just see how good this thing is. Because I think it's ridiculous. 750. And in some shooters, you can actually get up to 100 FPS. That is crazy. There's nothing out there that could do that for this price. But let's just see how good this is in the next stream. If you haven't done it already, a like would be very much appreciated. A sub to the channel would also be appreciated. And I'll see you around. Thanks for watching, guys.